tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind. But what do I do those days? I go anyways. I get it done. And even if I'm just going through the motions, I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. Don't take today off. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that door. Do not listen to that noise. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the project. Get out of bed. As an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. You control the time. You control the beginning of the day. You get clear. You meditate. You pray. You stretch. You think. You go through a gratitude exercise. But I'm the assessor of my life, not the assessee. I assess my life. I dictate the terms of my life. I'm not being assessed and I'm not being dictated to by other people all the time in my life. If the average people in the world or the majority of people don't have a 24 hour day, the more you can shrink the time frame where you measure performance, the better chance you can have to alter that performance and improve it. They measure their performance. The average people in the world measure their performance at the end of every year. Here's what I accomplished. Here's what I didn't get done. And once a year, they take a look at themselves, they make an adjustment and their performance improves. What do you really want to do? Well, I don't like this, but I guess I'll go ahead on and do it. No! The life is too short for that. Too short and unpredictable. Mosing through. Not trying to disturb anything. Not trying to shake anything up. Not trying to make any waves. See, there are some people who, are, who come through the universe and their level of contribution and the level of energy they manifest is so small, so inconspicuous, that when they go, you won't even know they left. There are some people because of their personality, because of their contribution, because of their the investment of their time and their energy and the impact they have there, that when they go, everybody will miss them. So when Mother Teresa checks out, everybody will know. Why? Because of their contribution. See, but there's some people because their contribution is so small, no one will care. Some say, before you are boxed and buried, decide that you're going to box and bury your fears. Decide that you're going to begin to live life on a new level, seeking out new horizons, that you're going to find more love and more joy and more ways to give more to life. If you started just being a bigger hurry and you had perception correct about how close you really are to your goal, the difference in winning and losing is this much. It's like a veil. And when you remove that veil, you say, my gosh, I'm so much closer. I promise you, one of the things that you suffer from isn't just like a lack of vision and clarity. I wish you more clarity and more specificity in your vision. And I wish you more proximity, that you knew how much closer you were to achievement than you think you are. In fact, it's the fact that you think you're so far away from achieving these things that's causing them to constantly stay that far away from you because you're not running fast enough towards them. You're not measuring them fast enough. You're killing your goals and your dreams by thinking they're so far away. If you are going to rest, that is one thing that you should procrastinate on. That's the one thing I want you to put off until tomorrow. And if, when tomorrow comes, you still feel like you need to rest or you need to take a break, okay. The chances are you won't. You won't need that rest. The chances are you will realize that the desire to rest was just weakness. It was just the desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the easy path. And by simply going through the motions, stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path, stayed on your path, which is right where you know.